Okay, for the record, these boxes are not orders. Others are actually stickers that I am working in collaboration with a few local artists and I'm so excited to share it with you because I have been thinking of a way to incorporate a lot of my fellow small business owners into a stationery box but also people and artists who sort of have similar styles as me in terms of color scheme like how we do our work i collaborated with jam of paper Ica shop aliana of alpha joan and jana of crafts delight and we are working on a local stationery box called scening we have thought long and hard for the name, but eventually I was like, you know what? Sining means arts in Filipino. It's going to be released on Independence Day, June 12, which is the day of Philippine independence. I'm going to show you what they worked on, and we're going to be creating a box out of it. So you'll see that in probably a future video because we're making 50 boxes, which is a first for my stationary boxes so I'm really going to be calling in my sister to help me pack because 50 is not a small number for these kinds of boxes. First up, let's unbox um, Aliana's package and I am definitely keeping these washi tapes for journaling because sayang. So for this collab, we suggested that she would design um, Philippine native flowers to celebrate local. So that is what we'll be finding here. I hope you can see the texture, but you can't really. But it's really pretty. Here at the bottom, there are also specific names of the flowers in case you're not familiar with them. So these are also native Filipino blooms. So it's nature and flora shades of native blooms. It's basically similar to the postcard except it's in sticker form and as usual the information is also written down below. So apart from that, I noticed that there are also bookmarks that will be included in the box. So yeah, Aliana's style is very dainty, very Victorian, very William Morris, if I may say so myself. And I really love William Morris's work. He does wallpapers and stuff, and yeah, these are really gorgeous. So these will be from Aliana's stash. I also gave Aliana some paper stock for her to print on. These are the papers that I use, which I get from my friend Ima, and she kindly printed a sunflower print for me. Well, not really just sunflower, but all flowers. So I'm gonna put this on my desk. And let's open up some freebies that she sent me as well. Because I love freebies. Who doesn't love freebies? And I'm definitely keeping all the stickers. Oh, wow, these are gorgeous. So we have different washi tape patterns, which will come in handy because I love these. Oh, they're really pretty. And they come in different variants as well and different color schemes depending on what you want. Make sure you check out Aliana's Shopee also down below. I will put it there for your reference. Next up is Jam of Paper Aika Shop whose work I really love. It has that cozy, woodsy vibe. So basically all the artists I've worked with for this are contributing a sticker sheet and either a postcard or any freebie of their choice so this is the postcard which is really gorgeous um shop local love local this is the sticker sheet so this is the sticker sheet um it's basically very filipiniana we called it Bahay Kubo Core, if that makes any sense. So you have typical, you know, quintessential Filipino things in the home, walis, um, these, I don't know what they're called, but like the doors and the outfit is just on point. So you have both of these, which will be part of the stationery box. Next up is Jana from Crafts Delight. These are for the collab. So I really love Jana's dictionary sticker sheets and I suggested that she make like um, Filipino words and their meanings. So these will be included in the stationary box. 
So they're called local dictionary strips. And Jana kindly included sticker sheets, which I am also very excited for because this is um, days of the week in Filipino. So you have Lunes, Martes, Mercules, Webes, Viernes, Sabado, and Lingo. Yes, this is also a freebie included. Super love that they included a lot of different things. So yes, they, these are also freebies. Oop, one more thing. We have calling card, of course, which I'll also include in the box. Hey guys, welcome to a journaling part of this vlog. Usually when I get a lot of stationery, I also like to just journal and catch up on what has been happening. And I haven't actually journaled since the shop update last week, or last last week rather. So this is me attempting to do that using some of the stickers that I got. And I recently updated my Notion dashboard as well, so I'm kind of proud of that. I don't know if it's just me, but usually I like to start journaling everything first like putting all the photos stickers washi and then later on i do end up doing the writing as always all materials will be linked in the description i think i am working on four spreads at the moment or three spreads and i also have switched to the midori journal which i find is more fitting for me and my journaling style i'm also opening up my fountain pens using my kaweko fountain pen tin and I've been reading John Green's book. Have you guys read it? Let me know in the comments if you have. And that's basically what I've been busy with. It's not much of personal life, more of work and squeezing in a bit of time to read and catch up on my consumptions list. I've also been spending lesser time on Instagram because honestly, I have a lot of other bajillion things to do that don't involve consuming content on Instagram or feeling like I am not enough because of social media. And yeah, let me know also if you want to know more about my Notion dashboard. I have finally set it up after many, many months. And that's something I'm really proud of because lately I realized I don't like spending time for myself, which is a bad habit. So now that I have more time, I am able to do that and I'm able to become more mindful of what I'm doing, where I'm spending my time, where my energy is. And that's something that's really, really important as you get older and as you become more aware of what really is important and what is happening right in front of you. So yeah, I'm just catching up. And for some reason, I do like updating my journal in the middle of a week or in the middle of a day. So this was done, I think, during lunch break, just because I wanted something to do that's not screen time or not related to the screen or watching netflix and i just feel like it's also a nice way to randomly reflect on life and write about what has been happening it's also made me appreciate the little things in life that happen on a daily basis and that's something that i'm definitely learning to become more aware of now that we are i think like one one, one and a half two years in I've been staying home since early this year, so that is definitely saying something and that's made me appreciate daily life a little bit more.